Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, February the 24th, 2022, and this is episode 3742. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Tears. Stay tuned. I had a wonderful experience yesterday, and for those of you who may be listening to Morning Manna for the first time, I do uh, Uber and Lyft driving in my retirement, and I love connecting with our community and the opportunities that God gives me to bring encouragement and hope, uh, peace to people who may be going through struggles. Um, I always say this, my car is not a preachy place, but it's a safe place. And I love being able to pick up students. Uh, I'll not identify uh, where this person uh, is a student, but uh, this young lady is a student in a college in our area. And uh, we just had a great, great conversation getting started. Um, She's an athlete, uh, very successful. And um, I was sharing with her Uh, She was asking me some questions about me and where I was from, and I told her about my wife and I, and that we had just celebrated our 50th year anniversary uh, a few weeks ago. And I began to hear some sobbing in the back seat. I looked in my rearview mirror, and I could see that she was crying. And I said, and she kept saying, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. I said, you have nothing to be sorry about. I told her, I said, listen, I'm like your grandpa. I've got two daughters and three granddaughters, and there's nothing wrong with crying. And then I didn't ask her why, but she shared, and this was a sad story. Her father had cheated on her mother, and they were headed for divorce. She has a 14-year-old sister, and she was sad, understandably so. And I had the opportunity to pray for her, her sister, their family. And I'm going to ask you, at the end of this episode, I'll not be giving a name, but would you pray for this situation after you finish listening to the episode? and ask God for a miracle restoration. Now, tears are reality, right? Isaiah 25, 8 says, He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. And the reproach of his people, he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. Revelation 21, 4 He will wipe away every tear from the eyes, and death shall be no more, neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have been passed away. Psalm 126, 5, those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Psalm 56, 8, you have kept count of my tossings. <laughs> Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? God has recorded our tears in his book. They who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. I want to encourage you today, if you're struggling with something, if you've been experiencing some tears, God's got this. Acknowledge those tears. Embrace that sadness and that brokenness and bring it to God, casting all your care upon him because he cares for you. Father, I pray For this young lady, her mom and dad, her sister, this family, Lord, that you would bring restoration and healing, forgiveness, humility, acknowledgement of sin, 
and restoration. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great Thursday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.